In this clip we're going to show you how to set alerts, how to put horizontal lines on. We're going to actually show you the technique of how to trade uh, the market while working a full-time job. This is one of the techniques we have in our program, but this will be one that we'll show you right now. Uh, we're also going to show you how to trade the market when it's flat. That's kind of an interesting uh, concept. Another thing that we teach in our systems is how to compound your profits on a trade. So if you start out with a one lot trade, how you can five, three to five times that amount of money in profits. So let's get started by putting some lines on. We're going to move fast so you can uh, catch up on this. We always do this on a near the daybreaker. This happens to be a weekend and we always do it on a 30 minute chart. There's no science to it. There's no exact figures. You just kind of pick a support and resistance level. So we have our resistance up there and we usually just put a little bit below whatever the lowest point is. This would be just before you go to bed and you're, uh, this is a strategy where you would be awakened. You get up, put your trade on and then go back to bed. Uh, sometimes you'll lose a little bit. Most of the time you'll make a lot more than, than you will lose so it's a winning uh, strategy. Once you have your visual lines on, now we go down and click on alerts and in this white area we right click, click on create, we make sure we're selecting the proper currency pair. Dollar Canadian is the one we're using. You can use this on any currency pair and some of them have good trades on one day, the next day they don't. Uh, the bid is less than, so if the in the price right here we put 1.0649 that matches up with the visual mark we have here we pick our click on the box with three dots in it choose a sound click open we leave it set on a timeout for a t it'll go off every 10 seconds for a thousand times then to set the volume we click test hear what the sound is like as well as test the volume we close this one, we right click again, click create, we can make sure we click the right currency pair, we're going to go over here and this time we're going to set the ask is greater than, the volume is 1.0686, going to select our sound, we're going to select a different sound this time, so you have one sound for going up and one sound for going down. Uh, the way the reason we do this is because when you wake up in the middle of the night, uh, you're going to be blurry eyed. You're going to see the price moving. You can see the, how far it is past the uh, point that you had set. Uh, as soon as you get out, hear the sound, you know which way the market's going, and you uh, kind of get an idea of, of uh, what uh, direction you're headed. Now, is what we do is when we if we got up and hurry and put a trade on here, we would put our stop loss wherever the uh, other line is. Uh, in this case it was 37 pips but it didn't even come close to it. You were hit way up here so I wouldn't worry about that one. Uh, from at this point up to here uh, it was a 40 pip gain. This actually falls in the time you would be getting out of bed so you made 40 pips over the night. This is just on one currency pair. This is not necessarily the best uh, example. I'll show you a couple of other examples. This is just the concept. There are no set rules, so you don't have to do mathematical calculations. It's a visual support and resistance. I've moved back, and here's another example. I took this high point here. Sometimes it's set right on top of the high point, sometimes a couple of pips above it. I pick a low point back in here someplace, and that's where we uh, I set these signals. On this one, uh, would have been a 22 pip loss, but it would have been a 38 pip gain approximately, 35, 38. I'll just uh, stop this and uh, go to another example. In this example, we've uh, seen that there wasn't a lot of uh, movement uh, sideways. It was uh, going up and down, but later in the evening, we would have set one mark there and one mark here. From here over, onto the right, we don't even see these bars, so we don't know which way the market's going. So the worst case on this one, if we had gotten in up here and it had come back against us, we would have set our loss there have been 25 pips, but we get in and it went up uh, someplace in the 50-60 pip range. 
So on that one we would have uh, made a lot more than we would have lost, but it was set up such that it didn't come close to, to losing anything. Scroll through. And when you want to sleep, don't even set one. So uh, have a good f time trading that one. I've made a lot of money with this little strategy. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.